Hey guys, I'm just going to quickly show you how I store all my makeup. It's in this big thing. It doesn't look that big on camera, but it actually is. Like my head, well actually my head reaches more than the top of it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with the hair supplies. Let's see if you can read that. Yeah, there we go. Um, so there's just like elastics and stuff in there. And then, actually, this one's more than just, like, hair supplies. It's, like, random stuff, like, Q-tips. And then there is Bactine, which I use to clean my nose ring. Let's see, I have hairspray. I like that hairspray. Um, a couple of these John Frieda Frizz Ease things. And then this is just a straightening serum. And then more hairspray, which is a lot cheaper. And then some hair brushes and... This is like sports wrap stuff. I'm like out, if you guys can tell. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it for that drawer. Oh, and this is baby oil. I normally have Johnson's baby oil, but I use this to take my makeup off, and it works really well. Just don't get ones that are scented because they'll burn your eyes. Okay, and then this one's like skincare, or that's what I called it, anyways. Um, and all I pretty much have in here is blush, 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 um, bronzer, this is sort of like a mixture of blush, bronzer, and a highlight, um, concealer, concealer, another concealer back there, um, and let's see, all the different foundations I've tried, this one, this one, that one, that one, and I believe there's another one in here somewhere, and I also have little sponge applicators and a couple cleaning products and a big powder puff thing from Quo. It was like three bucks or something like that. And this one's really nice because it washes out extremely easily. So that's good. Um, and then in my perfumes, I have a couple Beauty Rush ones. This one's my favorite. It's Apple Teeny. It's really yummy. And then I also have this one. It's from their summer collection. It's Lemonita. And then I also have another one from Victoria's Secret and another one. And then these are just like cheaper ones from Walmart, all of those. Yeah. Um, next we move on to the eyes. I'm trying to get that to focus, but it's not focusing. Um, let's see, I have mascaras. This one's a liner, so it should actually be over here. It's kind of messy, but... I need to like stand up on my tiptoes to get this. So mascaras, liners, um, some eyeshadows. They're just really cheap eyeshadows. Like I got all of these ones here um, for like 12 bucks or something like that. And then let's see, back there I have a couple palettes. I have some fake eyelashes, um, some Smashbox stuff, a little palette, my Smashbox palette, a couple of cream shadow palettes, um, palette from Avon, Sephora palette, big one, I think I've showed that before, and then just this palette, which is half lip gloss, half eyeshadows, and just put all of that stuff back, and then like my curler, and my tweezers, and just some other liner, and then in the lips, drawer. I also have my toothbrush, toothpaste. I've actually started using this one. It's like a whitening toothpaste from Crest and it's actually made a big difference. Ew, I just keep burping because I ate a whole bunch of food. Um, and then let's see, I have a whole bunch of lip glosses in here, some lipstick. I don't have as much lipstick because I don't wear it quite as often, but like it's lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss. So yeah, a lot of lip gloss in there. There's a little Sephora palette back there. Um, and then let's see what else. I'm going to show you guys my brushes. I don't actually have that many brushes because I don't see the need to have lots. But I have just like a basic all over brush. Um, a little brush like this. I also have one like that from Avon. And then I have this like a bigger brush I guess you would call it. Um, but that one's more for like blending and just all over. I have a liner brush. Um, another all over shadow brush from the Sephora Professional Collection. And this one's a lip brush once you take that cap off. Blush, um, one for contouring your face, powder, 
oh, other blush one, but I don't really use this one that much. And then here is my foundation brush. It looks like it's kind of in rough shape right now because I haven't washed it off for a couple days. And then my scope, which I use every day along with toothpaste. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys this. The other day, my friends saw one of these and they were wondering what it is. And it's just like a little floss thing. And it, you just like use it like that way, I guess. But yeah, so the floss is here and you just put it in between your teeth. It's a lot easier. And then um, I normally change it once a week, but I floss every day. I just make sure I clean it off really well. Like it's not like you take a new toothbrush every single day, so it's kind of the same thing, I guess. And then on top, I have a little Harajuku lever um, in G. And then this is what I use to clean my skin. Probably can't even read that. I don't know how to pronu pronounce it. Pronounce it. Wow. Um, yeah. So I have like the whole collection. I have the soap or like the cleansing thing. This one's to get rid of like acne and stuff. And there's the lotion and back here is the, oh god, what word am I looking for? Um, oh god, the toner. Um, and then my Vaseline lotion, which I could not live without. Well, technically I could, but I love it. And my Visine. I get really dry red eyes, so I use this all the time. This one is the triple action. Um, and then, oh, this is really good lip care stuff, but you have to get it prescribed by a doctor. I had really bad lip problems, so I got it a while ago. It's fairly expensive, though. You have to, I think it's like 12 bucks, and it just comes in like a tiny little tube. And then I have some Polysporn, which I don't actually use that often, but... And I believe that is it, so I'll back up here a bit, and that's pretty much all of it. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Bye!